Everything seemed to be going great with this guy that I'm dating. He seemed to be very into me and very persistent for a while. But lately he seems kind of distant and I find myself chasing after him. We are a bit of a drive away from one another. So in order to avoid getting ourselves in these sort of situationships um, where we invest so much of our energy and so much of our emotions into someone for an extended period of time, we have to be clear of what it is that we that we want, what it is that we expect out of forming a, a potential romance with someone. Because if you are not on the same page and we are just seeing where things go, we often find ourselves in this predicament of one heart holding on tighter and the other one either slowly distancing themselves to let go or halfway in and halfway out. And the other person is usually stumped on between not wanting to hurt your feelings but also not wanting to let you completely pass them by um, because we as human beings, we have this instinctual nature to take advantage of what is freely given to us. In my experience, men will usually tell you exactly what it is that they want with you um, by their words and their actions. You just have to be listening. You just have to be paying close attention. You have to be using feminine intuition and wisdom. And our judgments, especially as women, start to get very, very blurry. And we sort of wear these hormone goggles when we start sleeping with a guy. And that is why I encourage you not to sleep with anyone you are dating. It's just going to cause so much more havoc than necessary. And I also talk a lot about this in my upcoming dating course so if you are interested in getting out into the dating world comfortably and learning a lot of valuable advice and guidance then I encourage you to make sure that you check out that course but anyways men can almost sense when you have other men taking you out and pursuing you um, it's like their sixth sense um, you you carry yourself differently. You you hold yourself in a higher regards. Um, you wear this sort of feminine desirability in yourself, and you energetically show up higher with male energy constantly coming towards you. Even when you're married and you're in a stable relationship with your husband, um, you have that male energy that is constantly coming towards you you know you're constantly being desired as a female as a feminine being and so your energy is drastically higher um, when you are constantly having male energy come into you and so what that looks like is when a man's when a certain man's energy is not coming towards you um that means redirecting your energy elsewhere, as in rotational dating, you know, getting out there and exploring other options, um, dating other men, and not just dating other men. Of course, that's a big, you know, valuable option for you, but also directing your energy into yourself, um, into your spiritual life, in your spiritual health, your physical health. Um, taking up new hobbies, taking up new activities, finding um, a, a, something that is very meaningful to you um, to indulge in in your life, um, forming a community and, 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 you know, getting involved with community that resonates with you and your personal values and your personal um likes and 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 things of that nature you know go, getting out with your girlfriends um just involving yourself in things outside of just the relationship because all of your energy currently is very much very much honed in on the relationship that you have with this man 
And men can sense when you are sending them that sort of chasing energy. And unfortunately, it does repel them. Um, you know, especially when we're just in the beginning dating phases. Um, because men really love women who... They, they're hunters. And so they love women who they have to really earn and, and work hard for. And uh, women that, that can view a man and, and view having a relationship with him as like the cherry on top of the dessert. Um, so, you know, we women tend to get so caught up in this hypothetical theory of a relationship possibly forming. And we start thinking like, 12 steps ahead, you know, we're thinking about our wedding day and our bridesmaids and our kids' names. And um, it's just so in our nature to start forming and, and painting this pretty picture of what we imagine our life to be like with this guy that um, seems to have an attraction for us and so, uh, someone that we feel a romantic attraction for. I mean, when Eve was first created, Adam claimed her immediately as, as his wife. So we just, you know, we come from a relationship. We are much more relationship focused than a man is. And, and believe me, this is a really good thing. This is, this is, this is a quality that we need to honor because men need to go out and protect and provide, um, before they ever worry about a relationship. Um, they need to make sure that they have their work and career uh, in order and their independence established before they go off and find a wife um, so that they can, you know, make a family and protect and provide for them. So sometimes men can tend to charm us with, you know, charming words and, you know, giddy affirmations and lovey doveyness and you know romance and writing letters and throwing quotes at us sometimes they tend to charm us with these things um because they you know they know that that's what we want to hear and feminine women fall in love through their ears we we bond to men by communication by connecting to them emotionally connecting to them with words um, but men don't particularly bond in the same way that we do and it doesn't mean that men are lying when they say these more sweet and charming phrases to us it doesn't mean that they don't mean those things but you know they get blinded by chemicals too they um it's like a it's like a, a a drug effect um when they're like feeling a strong sexual attraction for you they start to get blurry in their judgment um because their sexual drive for you is leading them and so they will say these things to charm you um just because that's that's what they're feeling but that doesn't necessarily mean that they want a whole you know marriage and, and life with you so since us women fall in love with men through you know form of communication and having them desire us men don't bond to us in the same way they bond to us through hormones of testosterone and vasopressin and these are the uh, hormones responsible for them falling for us because when we when they have to exert physical force in our presence and use testosterone and increase testosterone and increase vasopressin um this is this is how they ultimately bond to us by exerting that physical force so if you want him to truly fall for you um make sure that he is doing something for you um, like cooking a meal for you, you know, massaging your feet, um, <laughs> fixing something, um, paying for your meals, you know, paying for things that you want and desire, paying for things with the money that they earn through exerting their physical force and using testosterone. It all ties in together. So redirecting your energy into dating other men 
and getting involved in community and getting involved in different hobbies and activities to take care of you is ultimately going to take your mind away from the relationship and what he's not doing and how all the ways he's not showing up for you and and being all that you need and giving those needs to yourself. So regardless of whatever he chooses to do about pursuing a relationship with you or not, you are taking care of you and giving yourself what it is that you feel like is missing from him. And it takes a lot of pressure and neediness off of him. So um, as far as being long distance, um, you know, we have this negativity bias. Um, We have this fear of uh, things not working out and this fear of, of doing something that feels unsafe to us. And because of that, men will try to think more logically because men uh, are more in the head space and women are more in the body and the feeling space um, just naturally. So when they haven't bonded to you through an emotional connection, um, they tend to stay more in the head space of thinking, you know, thinking about the hard questions, um, trying to analyze, well, you know, I live here, she lives you know, this amount of distance away from me, how logically are we going to see each other? Um, how, how logically are our lives going to mesh together? And, and, and how are we ever going to be able to form that true romantic, romantic connection with one another when, you know, she lives here, and maybe her family lives here, and my family lives here, are we actually going to be able to mesh our lives? So they tend to think more with that perspective, rather than thinking more with their emotional perspective and um it's it you know it's not something to take so personally um because in the end it's 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 very hard to mess up something that is genuinely meant for you it is it is so hard to screw up something with someone that is genuinely for you. And I know it's so hard for us to swallow that pill um, because we, we are so hard on ourselves, um, as especially as women. But it, it's, it's, it's hard to screw up something that is right for you. And sometimes it's just timing that is off. Sometimes it doesn't mean that there's no potential for romance to bloom. It's just maybe not the right timing and in due time um, things can work out and come together for a happy ending in the end and so sometimes when things start off really amazing and you know exciting and there's like a lot of passion um, in those first few months when when it starts off that way Typically, this is um, not that great of a sign because for men, when men get too close too soon, they withdraw too far. And seeing each other face to face um, is very, very essential to developing a real relationship, you know, develop, developing something that is authentic. That is very important. We are human beings. We are designed for human the human experience, you know, we're designed for human touch and human connection, um, face to face in, in real life and not just through a a cellular device. So after, you know, time goes by and you're just constantly talking to one another over a cell phone and nothing is actually happening, um, you know, with one another and you're actually forming that, genuine connection um because you need to be in someone's field you need you need to be in someone's presence and energy in order to really decide whether you you have something with them so after months and months have gone by of continually talking over a phone it gets to be really old for both 
both partners, you know, both for man and woman, men especially, they connect to us through uh, physicality. They they connect through us, like I said, by doing, by um, testosterone, by exerting physical force, um, by touch, you know, by intimacy, by physical intimacy. So all in all, I'm not saying that long distance relationships are not possible. They are possible possible but are they doable um and are they common they're not really common um so it takes a special kind of lifestyle and it takes a special kind of you know special kind of people to really commit to doing something that is more long distance so all in all you need to explore other options um, give yourself what it is that you need that you are not getting from him and find those things elsewhere. As I was saying in other activities, maybe taking a dance class, you know, dating other men, going out on dates, um, taking your focus away from him and in the relationship and whatever outcome that may or may not be. And that also means not constantly thinking about him, not sending him, you know, constant text messages. If he's not reaching out to you and trying to actually take action, because men are action oriented, into seeing you face to face and pursuing something genuine with you, then not sending him that, you know, uh, that that bit of uh, masculine energy that you are subconsciously sitting in because you know anytime that we pursue men who are not committed to us um, it repels them and I don't make the rules um, I'm just telling you how men and women think and behave differently all men want high value women that are hard to catch um, women that they have to earn and you know view as the prize uh, a woman that holds herself in high regards um, that they can trust with their own heart and their own emotions because masculine men don't open up to just anyone um, they only open up and let a woman that they really fully trust and that they see very they think of very highly um, in order to to hold their their hearts and and give her that commitment so I hope that helped to give you a bit more insight. And I know that it was a very long answer, um, but it's a very insightful topic. So if you found this video to be helpful, make sure you leave a like, a comment, and subscribe to help this channel grow. And until the next video, I will see you next time.